Victory Morning Church of the Cross. I hope you're well here. If you just passed through uh, Easter Sunday this last week, what a glorious, glorious day that was. Uh, it was really, really encouraging, uh, just from the simple point that I got a chance to see people who I literally have not seen in six months, even some uh, one in case, case a year, as we're seeing more and more people beginning to return. And uh, it was just a glorious weekend. Almost all the services were packed, particularly over here at the chapel and over here at the Cross Campus. We know every seat was taken. We even had to open up the bleachers as we're seeing these people returning. More and more people are getting vaccinated and feeling more comfortable to attend for worship. And as I've said a couple of weeks ago, uh, in many cases, people have been weeping during the service, crying because just how much they missed being a part of a fellowship, part of a congregation, part of worship, being the church. Um, and it just reminds me again, there's a reason why the scriptures uphold the idea about meeting together. Online worship is great. It is a great avenue to reach people we'd not normally reach, to, to serve in places where we have been separated because of the pandemic. And yet down in our heart of hearts, we want to be with one another. It's good to be in fellowship with one another. In fact, this is a major theme in the scriptures. The reason why Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there in the midst of them. And we know, and also in the 10th chapter of the book of Hebrews, the writer of Hebrews also lifts up the idea about us getting together regularly to meet for worship. And, and it says this in that in that wonderful passage and let us consider how we might spur one another on toward love and toward good deeds never giving up the idea or giving up meeting together but which is so easy to do he says but we must keep on encouraging one another and all the more as we do this we will see the day of god approaching and uh, I, I love that passage because I think it communicates exactly what we're supposed to be doing uh, as a community of believers. And so we, we were part of this this past Sunday as we were over there worshiping God uh, with our hearts, singing out these songs, praying prayers, hearing God's word, uh, sitting next to one another. We are better when we are together. And so I'm, I'm saying that to some of those who may be watching this uh, video, this devotional this Saturday morning, if you've been kind of contemplating about whether to come back, uh, now is the time. It's just a great time to return. It's just so much to be encouraged about. Uh, I'm very, very appreciative that you're watching these services online, but it's our hope that you will begin to return to the fellowship and you'll see just being a part of something special together how we are made stronger when we are together as a body of believers. And so that's my prayer this day. It's a short devotion this week, but um, I hope it's an encouraging one. I look forward to you. I'm over here at Cross School this this uh, this Sunday. Pastor Kevin over at the Story Campus. We hope in either case, you'll sign up to be a part of either one of those campuses. But until then, you're in my prayers. I love you guys, and I will see you soon.